Hello guys, and welcome to this EC Aquatics video. In this video, we're going to be turning this old food container into an enclosed ecosphere for some shrimp. This is a container that used to house dried mushrooms. And with enough cleaning, we can make it into a nice ecosphere. So what we need to do is take it and wash it well with soap, and then be sure to rinse all the soap out to make it safe to house shrimp and plants. The sand that we're gonna be using is this Sacrete Play Sand, which is just really cheap sand that you can buy at any hardware store. It's probably the cheapest sand that you can buy that can be used safely in aquariums. Since there's not going to be a filter in the tank, we're gonna want a pretty deep layer of sand because beneficial bacteria is going to grow in the sand and act as our filter. So we're gonna want about two to three inches of sand. There we go, we got a nice deep bed of sand that'll act as our primary filter. Now we have to go wash the sand because play sand is very, very dusty. So we'll just take it to the sink and, and clean it with, with water like you would any other aquarium sand. In this scape, we're gonna be using these three pieces of driftwood, which we're going to be attaching moss to using this dark green thread. To attach the moss, take the thread and you're gonna to wanna to wrap it around the wood where the moss is. I want to take it and just wrap it. Just like this. Now it should stay put. Repeat with the different tufts of moss until you've got your wood covered and with as much moss as you want to use. Now that we've got our wood all covered in moss, we can add it to our ecosphere and scape the ecosphere. I'm going for this type of uh, flooded forest with the pieces of wood acting like tree trunks. And as always, you wanna step back and, and look at your scape. There we go, I have now set up the ecosphere on the place it's going to go. It's got sort of a temporary light going right now that I'll change in the future to get a, a proper overhead light. Fortunately, one of our branches started to float up, but that should sink down in the next couple days. And in the next couple days, I'll give you guys an update and show you guys what we're putting in here. It's now about a week after I set up this ecosphere and I've now picked up our shrimp to add in. Here are our shrimp. They are two black really neocaridina shrimp. I got them at our at my local Petco and they've been acclimating to the temperature in this room for about a half hour. So they're good to be added in to their new home. I've now caught out our shrimp. You can see there they are. They're considered really shrimp because they've got that mottled black and clear pattern. So now I'm going to let them out into their container. So there's one of them right there, exploring his new home. And there is the other one right there, exploring on the, the moss. So they'll be perfect in there, just the two of them. And they'll just graze on any algae that's produced in their aquarium. The sand bed is deep enough that the beneficial bacteria will filter this tank since there's hardly any bio load on the tank. So it doesn't require much filtration and the, and the plants will pull out a bunch of uh, nitrates as well, keeping this tank clean. So, and it defeats the need for a filter in this aquarium. And shrimp are perfect at room temperature. I think this room is right around 72 degrees Fahrenheit, which is perfect for them. So. It, this tank does not require a heater. 
Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I will see you all in the next one.